Chapter 6 New Task Edit Task Custom Object Vault Professional allows administrators to configure custom objects in custom workspaces, like managing tasks or customer claims. The essential concept of a custom object is to link any Vault Professional object. For example, a task may link files, items, or projects. Vault Data Standard can add a customizable user interface to each new workspace by sharing dialog and datasheet definitions. Data Standard default configuration is already prepared for a sample implementation of tasks. You will learn how to activate it, but also to enhance the usability. We won't miss to get you started applying the concept to any other custom object that your company may use. Task Workflow In a fully configured custom object workspace, right-click on an existing entity and select the respective command to create or edit an object. We start doing this in a custom workspace managing tasks. We can see our custom object commands new task and edit task as we right click on one of the tasks. The context menu adapts each workspace's icon and command name. After creating the task, we can see them under the task custom object. Exercise 1 Activate custom workspace tasks. In this exercise, learn how to activate and enhance this environment. Step 1. Copy icon files. Before we start the exercise, let's get the icons of the custom objects. From the training files, VDS configuration files, chapter 6, get all the .ico files and paste them into your vault.custom folder. Step 2. Edit menu definition. If you recall, we started to customize the user menu definitions from the menu definitions.xml in chapter 3. Open the menu definitions XML in your Vault custom folder. The menu items are defined as a default, but the icons are generic. Let's change that. Replace the image string with task add and task edit like shown. The attribute named label is reading its value from the local UI XML. For English, it is located at the ENUS folder. Step 3. Create a label definition. Open the file uistrings.xml in your ENUS folder. Create two UI strings for new and edit task functions. Alternatively, you can also copy-paste the code from your supplement UI strings chapter 6 XML from the training files. Step 4. Update the menu definition. Now update the labels with the new IDs. Step 5. Validate command site definition. Each menu item refers to one or multiple menu locations, like a context menu or tools, or both. For the task custom object, the command site is defined as a default, but always double check the definition name. Step 6. Create custom object task. Let's create the custom object. Open the custom object configuration and type the names. Select the task icon from the Vault custom folder and create the object. Step 
Step 7. Create Category. Now that we created our task object, let's create a category for it. Create a custom object category named Task and color it with your preference. Step 8. Add Properties. We need to assign the title and description properties to the task category. So let's do that. Step 9. Assign Category Rule it is always a good practice to assign rules for categories. Create a custom object rule task. The rule condition should be custom object name contains the value task. Step 10. Create a numbering scheme. Create a new numbering scheme task like shown. Step 11. Restart Vault Explorer. We need to restart Vault Explorer twice because on the first restart, the new custom object definition gets registered in data standard and the message reminds to restart again. On the second restart, VDS configures itself for the new custom object task and loads the configuration into the new session. Step 12. Create a first task. This step only applies if the vault has no tasks. The new task and edit task functions only show on the context menus. Let's create a task and name it default. As we right click on the task, we can now see the functions. Step 13. Create a new task. As we are creating a new task, the numbering scheme is automatically selected. If you remember from the previous chapters, we learned how this auto selection work. In the later chapters, we will learn how to choose a non-option by programming. Exercise 2. Support any custom object. In the previous activity, we could leverage predefined VDS configuration elements to enable VDS support for the custom workspace task. In this exercise, we reuse the existing features to create another custom object person and allow it for the data standard user interface. Step 1. Create a new menu definition. Open the menu definitions.xml in the vault.custom folder. Copy and paste the first two items, new task and edit task. Replace the node names to new person and edit person. Change the image strings and navigation types. Step 2. Create a label definition. Just like in the first exercise, we should add UI strings to our UI strings.xml in the ENUS folder. You can also copy paste the lines from the supplement UI strings chapter 6 XML. Step 3. Update the menu definition. Return to menu definitions.xml and change the label IDs. Step 4. Create a new command side definition. 
Now scroll down to command site section and copy the existing custom object node and paste it below. Change the label, location and item names. Step 5. Create Detail Tab Datasheet. To get a Detail Tab and a Datasheet, just copy the existing task folder in your vault.custom configuration folder and paste it. Change its name to Person. Every subfolder represents a custom Detail Tab with the title Datasheet. To initiate VDS to use the customized copies, we need to copy all existing folders and the containing datasheet.xml. The content of custom objects' datasheet is neutrally defined and adjusts according to the custom objects' category. Therefore, we can copy and rename an existing custom object folder to the name of another custom object definition. It may also be changed individually following the principles of datasheet customizations introduced in later chapters. Step 6. Create custom object person. Repeat the steps 6 to 13 from the exercise 1 Activate Custom Workspace Tasks to create the person custom object. The final workspace and context looks like this. Chapter 6 Summary Vault custom objects are a unique feature and benefit. Administrators define workspaces with access control, lifecycle definitions, categories, and related properties. Data standard empowers the administrators, adding custom user interface elements for your company's custom workspace and custom objects. In Chapter 7, we take a look at extending datasheets with changing static properties.